Hey Funkamonsters, this is me, the Funkamonster. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Pop Smuggler Bounty Exclusive Han with Tauntaun. I'm pretty excited because I think this is a great looking pop. I mean, I don't know, I could, I could see some people considering that this being a, a pop moment. You know, it, it, it kind of was a scene, but I don't know, I mean, it's a pop ride mixed with a pop moment. Whatever, I mean, it's fine. But a um, really cool looking pop here. Uh, this came in the Smuggler Bounty box a couple of years ago. And uh, they did make another Empire Strikes Back themed box. But I didn't get it. Um, anyways, today is the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back. Pretty exciting. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on some of those figures that Hasbro's uh, released. And get my hands on some of those pops at Funko. Is released. Anyways, uh, there's a lot of details on this guy. I'm not going to be showing the box because, I mean, the box is pretty simple. If you want to know what it looks like, honestly, just go watch my other Funko Pop reviews that I've been posting in the last couple of days. It looks very similar to those. Anyways, uh, now the Tauntaun is removable from the base. So let's remove him from the base and take a look at the base. And yeah, so you can see it kind of looks like a giant icebreaker uh, mint uh, it has like these blue specks on it well you know honestly I think it would have been cooler if around it was raised you know like it looks like snow and you can't really see the feet of the tauntaun I have it raised up to where my index finger is maybe instead of you know peg holes do footprints from the tauntaun right I think that would have been a lot cooler than what we got. But like I said, this just looks like a giant um, plus size icebreaker. But you get the Star Wars logo right there. Still, it looks nice. And it does look good with the Tauntaun. So, putting the base back. And now let's take a closer look at the pop. Or pops, depending on how you look at it. So you can see the head sculpt on Han looks really good. He's got the goggles on. He's got the fur around his head. I do own the single pop, you know, the one that he just, it's just him from uh, Hoth. Um, I, I'm not going to review that during this week, uh, but it, I will review it one day eventually. But I'm assuming it's very similar to this. Uh, I believe he was actually wearing a blue jacket, not a brown jacket, so a little bit inaccurate, but I'm not 100% sure now, actually. Because I know the Black Series, Han and Tauntaun, comes with a, a blue jacket, you know. But still, nice, you know, sculpting on the clothes and everything. And then the Tauntaun looks super cute. You can see, you know, he's sticking a little tongue out. Definitely not as ugly as he is in the movie, but... Get some horns on the top, and you can see the tusks. I don't, I don't know. I mean, they could. Are they tusks? I don't know what technically separates the two, but it looks good. Nice sculpt on that. The plastic is nice that they use. You can see the buckle there, going to Han's hands. You can see he's got a little duffel bag. You can see the fur throughout. Nice paint apps on that as well. A little bit like a, a light blue dry brushing on it. Looks really good. A little scuff right there. No biggie though. I'm not that upset about it. He's got the claws and everything. Got more buckles. Yeah, really, really cute looking pop. Definitely glad to own this. Uh, the Tauntaun is not on a bobblehead, which is, you know, I think it's pretty unique because usually they would put on a bobblehead. Like they made a do back a while ago. And even the do back was a, a bobble, but not this. But uh, yeah. Nice fur details all over. And uh, yeah, man, it's just really, really cute looking pop. Definitely an iconic, you know, scene in the movie. Now, they are making a few um, movie moments from Empire Strikes Back. And uh, one of them is when he, uh, when Han has to cut open the, this magnificent creature. Uh, yeah, that, I, that, you know, that's... It's kind of messed up to sell as a kid's toy, but I honestly might get it because I don't know. It just it's just really messed up. But um, what else are they doing? They're doing like a Yoda with his house and everything, and yeah, I don't know. There's a there's a couple moments. They're also doing Luke on a Tauntaun, which 
I think I'm going to pass on for now. Um, but, yeah, it looks cool, though, and, and it's, it's a great way to get a Tauntaun if you weren't subscribed to this box, you know. So, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, this review, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back moment? Mine is definitely the battle of actually there's a few moments now think about it. there's the battle of hoth and then uh the day dagoba show off or face off and then there's also the you know the final scene uh the final battle and then uh the, the training scenes are pretty nice um with luke i don't know there's a lot of good moments in that movie but anyways uh like i said hope you guys like the video and uh make sure you like comment and subscribe and, uh, yeah. Happy 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. May the Force be with you.